Hey everyone, and welcome to another installment of Tom's World. In today's video, I'm going to be giving you an update of the fundraiser, as well as showing you some pretty cool stuff I discovered here in the garden. You're not going to want to miss this one. So, let's go check it out. All right, so going into the garden, my normal entrance. So I'll give you an update of the fundraiser. As of right now, when I made this video, the fundraiser is up to $1,310. There's a pending $50 donation coming up, which will bring us to $1,360. Still a long way to go. We got plenty of time though. We're gonna need money for not only the plant life around here, but also the tools to maintain it, which would be leaf blowers, hedge trimmers, because we're going to have hedges all over the place. We're going to have bushes all over the place. We're going to need all the tools to take care of this place. So please, 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 if you have not already, please donate to the fundraiser, which you will find the link in the description of this video. And if you cannot donate, perfectly understandable in these times, please at least share out the link so that other people can see it. The more eyes we get on this, the better it's going to be. So that's the update of the fundraiser. As you can see, the chessboard, the grass has taken. It's all growing. It's doing very, very well. I was a little worried about a couple of the squares because as it rained really hard a couple times, they were getting a little bit flooded out. This one in particular and that one. But they still seem to be doing pretty well. It seems like the grass has been rooting itself in there so it's doing good and uh the whole garden outside of all the leaves all over the place which is pretty sort of it's still a pain in the butt the last few weekends the other volunteers and i have been here them more so than i and they've been here getting rid of all the leaves off of this because this was completely covered and you can see little piles of leaves on the outside of the fence there that's all from them taking care of this, so I thank them immensely for that. It makes it more pretty for people when they come here. They can actually see the chessboard. So, as for the new discoveries that I came across here, how I came across these discoveries was I was at the Ben Salem Historical Society, and I was looking at a bunch of pictures that they had, pictures that I had not yet seen, and I have found this one picture which I will put up here now. And as you can see, this is Robert Logan, and the woman with him is his secretary at the time. They were just tending to the garden. And as I looked down at his feet, I realized I knew exactly where they were standing because there are raised bricks right there. And there's only three places in the garden that have raised bricks, one of which is the fountain, Another of which is the um, sundial, and then over by this tree. So let me walk over there now and show this to you. I realized in the picture that there was a bench on top of this tree, or I'm sorry, a bench on top of the bricks. How, <laughs> that'd be pretty weird looking. It's like, whoa, there's a bench way up there. Oh, I'm sorry, being corny. Anyway. Um, I realized that there was a bench on top of this So I started to clear it off. There was a bunch of weeds and debris of trees and stuff and I realized That it is actually solid brick all the way back to the tree So it's either from the bricks here as the tree grew up Or the bench that was here as to why the front of this tree Is flat So you can see that so it's more likely from the bricks you can see it's kind of pushed the bricks up a little bit but as it grew it mostly remained flat until you get to a certain point and then it rounds off and so i knew exactly where they were standing so now let me show you footage from about where i think the picture was taken so bringing up the picture there again you can see on the right side of robert logan's feet that there were a couple trails that are not there today or at least they were not here anyway. So after looking at this picture, I thought, you know, I know those trails are not exposed and I know they're not documented in any of the hand-drawn maps of the garden. 
so here it is today you can see now off to the right we have a couple trails we have this one here and it goes down to there and then it just stops so right here it just stops there's no more bricks after that so I'm assuming that there was either like maybe a bush here or maybe a statue or maybe both I don't really know as I haven't found any pictures of that particular area yet so there's that path right there and it goes all the way out to this path which has been dug up for quite some time and then we have another one here it goes up this way it does continue going up that way I just have not yet dug that out so either I or the other volunteers or all of us will do that this weekend but I did notice that there was another path going off this way, which is quite wider than this path. It's about double the width. And it just goes from here out to the bricks. So I'm assuming that there's going to be more out this way. There might be more in that patch of grass there. But I do know that there is another path right here. Now it's a little hard to see. I'm going to get my shadow out of the way here. I take out some of these leaves you can see part of the brick right here so there is a path going this way chances are it probably just goes straight across over into there and there was my shadow again and um, there might be more so we're not 100% sure yet now for those of you who have been watching my videos you may remember some time ago that we and by we I mean the other volunteers had dug up this path right here which much like the two over here do not have the uh, the sideways bricks as you can see all along here and there that indicate the end of the path so I'm guessing that this was made around the same time that they were I'm not sure if they were made before these original paths or maybe they were made after and they just got buried over and forgotten about but they were definitely not documented in any of the hand-drawn maps that we found at the historical society so nobody has known about these apparently for quite some time and I'm excited to be part of the people who are finding these new paths or old paths for that matter so this is the exciting new discovery I found may not be that exciting to you but for me it is because then that means that our work is not yet done for the year we still have more digging to do and I'm, I'm excited to find out if there are any more around here. It's just going to take some investigating, you know, driving a shovel into the ground, trying to find it. Not too hard, you know, we don't want to damage the bricks, but like hard enough where it'll go down. And if we hear like a little clink, dig it up, chances are it'll probably be a rock and not bricks, but one never knows. And this right here, this is really cool looking too. I mean, obviously a lot of it has fallen apart over the years but all the bricks are still here so we may be able to put this back together it's a very good chance will we have a bench there probably not the park has told me that the only benches that we can have in here are the same benches that they have all over the park which are just like two metal poles and plastic that looks like wood uh, and i wouldn't want to drive any metal poles into there so chances are we won't have that there but we'll find out Maybe, maybe we can talk them into letting us put a regular bench there and cementing it to the bricks so that nobody can mess with it. But we'll find out. So that was the update. You know, just finding these paths, having dug this one up completely and the one out there partially. I'm excited to see where it goes from there. I'm also excited to see if we can find any more paths out there. I would have to think if these are here that maybe there might be more out there. That way we can continue digging and bringing this place back to what it was at one time. And I think that that's going to do it for this one. So, please remember, if you can, please give to the fundraiser. And if you can't, please share out the link. Share it, share it, share it. Everywhere and anywhere you can. If you have not done so already, please make sure that you are subscribed to my channel. When you subscribe to the channel and you hit the notification bell, you'll be kept in the loop on all the updates in the garden and anytime I upload a video of any kind. 
Also, to quote one of my favorite YouTubers, Adam the Woo, make sure that you give this video a big thumbs up. It shows me that you care. And with that, I think I'm going to get out of here. So I will see you all in the next one. Make sure that you stay safe, stay healthy, and take care.